Welcome to Next Labs' Entitlement Manager for Network and Cloud File Shares demo. Before getting started, we will review the following security compliance requirements. Users can only access classified files for which they have the clearance. Users must be the citizen of at least one of the countries listed on RHEL2, Releasable2 property on the files. Users must have qualification for all of the COI, community of interest attributes of the files, however users may also have more. Files with the COI tiger marking may only be opened while in the USA. In the top left, you will see a list of the users for this demo, which include Anne, Bob, Chris, and Dan. For this demo, we are using Active Directory AD for the identity provider. Let's look at the AD properties for these users. First, we will review the properties for Anne. Anne's country of citizenship is the USA. Her highest clearance is top secret, and her COI is apples, bear, bananas, lion, and tiger. Next, we will view Bob. His country of citizenship is the USA. The highest clearance he has is secret, and his COI is apples and bananas. We will now move on to view the properties for Chris. He is a citizen of Canada. The highest clearance he has is secret, and his COI is bear, bananas, and lion. Finally, we will view Dan. Dan is a citizen of Canada. The highest clearance he has is top secret, and his COI is apples and tiger. The files in this demo are stored in Azure File Store Setup as SMB File Share, named NXL Demo Share 1. NextLabs' Entitlement Manager for SMB functions as a SMB gateway for the endpoint Windows devices accessing the Azure File Store. We will now connect from a Windows device to this Azure File Share through the NextLabs' Entitlement Manager for SMB which can be installed on a Windows server with the IP address of 10.2.0.7. In this use case, a Canadian citizen has been given a secret clearance. Despite this, Sample C is meant to only be viewed by the United States citizens. Let's log in as Chris, who is a Canadian citizen with a secret clearance. He will be denied to open the Sample C spreadsheet because the document is only releasable to the USA. Now, let's log in as Bob, who is a US citizen and also has secret clearance. Bob will be allowed to open the Sample C spreadsheet because he has US citizenship, which is a requirement of the document as it is only releasable to the USA. Let's look at the document properties. We see this document has a classification of secret and is releasable to USA. In many cases, restricting access based on citizenship isn't enough. Despite citizenship, viewing classified files on foreign soil can constitute a security risk. In this demonstration, document D is only meant to be viewed by United States citizens within the United States with top secret clearance and membership in the Tiger COI. First, let's log in as Dan from Workstation 2, which is located in Canada. Dan, a Canadian citizen with top secret clearance and the COI of Tiger, he will be denied to open the Sample D document because Workstation 2 is not in the USA despite his clearance and COI. Now, let's log in as Anne to Workstation 1 that is located in the USA. Anne, who is a US citizen, 
with top secret clearance and a COI of Tiger, accessing the file from a USA location will be allowed to open the sample D document. Let's look at the document properties. We see this document has a classification of top secret and a COI of Tiger. With this, we conclude the Windows Desktop Enforcer WDE demo.